Good afternoon. I'm going to try that one more time. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. That sounds a little bit better. Um, I am glad to be here this afternoon, and I would just like to say greetings to everyone and welcome to Durham. Uh, I just want to share a little bit of information about what we are doing in uh, Durham Public Schools. I hope that your tours this earlier today were, were beneficial, and uh, I hope you saw some things that uh, maybe uh, inspired you or that will encourage you to do some things where, where you are. Let me share this with you. We do have a vision in Durham Public Schools. And our vision is to basically be one of the best districts in the, state of the North in the state of North Carolina. But in addition to that, what we've done in January of 2011, we launched our strategic plan. We felt as though it was very important for us in our district to have a roadmap toward excellence. Uh, so you may have seen something that looks like this. I just happen to carry one of these around with me everywhere I go. This is our district strategic plan. Um, what I would say to you is that it's our GPS. That's what guides all of our direction, and that is what will help us to sustain excellence within our district. As a school district, uh, we serve students, as we call it, in the city of medicine and also in the Research Triangle Park. We recognize the importance of preparing students for what's next, but we also want to emphasize STEM. Uh, in our district, we did something a little different. We added the A to STEM and we call it STEAM, and that's what you'll actually see in our strategic plan, because in our community, we have a strong uh, desire and belief that arts are important. So we want to integrate the arts into science, technology, engineering, as well as in math. Now, let me just share some general information about STEM in the district. So I think, believe some of you may have visited some of these schools today. In 2007, we established the Southern School of Engineering. Uh, focusing on project and, um, and problem-based learning with a rigorous, rigorous and relevant uh, college preparatory program. At Southern School of Engineering, every student there takes honors and advanced placement courses and can graduate with up to 12 college credits. Uh, the four-year graduation rate in this program is at 90%. What I would tell you is that we're continuing to work with the North Carolina New Schools Project to redesign Southern into four, four smaller academies continuing uh, our focus on energy and sustainability. The City of Medicine Academy, I think some of you may have visited that site today. Again, another example of a partnership. It is recognized as a state leader in STEM, but we are also partnering with Duke Medicine. It is on the campus of Durham Regional Hospital, and our students have a direct connection to that actual experience. The graduation rate at CMA is about 97%. Hillside New Tech High School, some of you visited that school. It's a technology embedded project based learning school. What we're doing there is offering courses in computer engineering as well as robotics and advanced sciences. So why am I sharing all of this with you? A common thread throughout all of these schools, Hillside New Tech, City of Medicine Academy, Southern School of Engineering, it's about partnerships. We in isolation cannot make it happen in Durham Public Schools. We have to partner with other entities to ensure that we're getting the best results for our students. So that's why we partner with the North Carolina New Schools Project. We also have a business advisory council with organizations like the Environmental Protection Agency, Biogen. These are organizations that we partner with because we're probably focused on the teaching and learning, but how then do we bring in the real world experiences for our children so that they can advance and see how it benefits them? So it is about partnerships. We've also this year been able to expand some of our work um, and we are looking at the middle school model at Neo Middle School. And what does STEM look like there? How do we coordinate STEM with some of our efforts in our career technical education unit? So again, North Carolina New Schools Project is helping us in that regard as well. What I would also share with you is that project-based learning is really, really key within our district, and this is where we're trying to go. We have uh, recently been recognized, R.N. Harris Elementary School is the school that was recognized by the National Excellence in Urban Education for receiving um, and doing great things in urban education. But primarily they're utilizing project-based learning. So these are some things that we are learning as we partner with other individuals and it's a way for us to continue to ensure that we're making progress for all of our students. One of the things that I would share with you also is that we need to make sure and continue to do is that we invest in our teachers. I'm a firm believer in knowing that our teachers are the ones who make the difference at the end of the day. So 
the one thing that we love about the North Carolina New Schools Project is that teachers get quality training. And so it's job embedded professional development. And then how do we continue to sustain that and move that in order to get better results for our students? So our focus is not only partnerships, it's also about our community. How do we bring our community into our schools and also work with them to help us move it, to move it forward? We're really, really blessed to be in Durham because we have a very, very strong business partnership here. Um, and our businesses support a lot of the efforts that we have within Durham Public Schools. Are we where we want to be? No, we're not. Are we better than we were? I would say yes, we are. We are still a work in progress. We always look at what's working and then we try to model that and elevate that and put it into other places. But the one thing that we do have is this guide. This serves as our guide for how we move forward. We're very organized and we're very strategic about everything that we do within our district because it has to relate back to the strategic plan and at the end of the day, are we ultimately making and getting better outcomes for our students? And I firmly believe, and I tell a lot, lots of people lots of times, it's more than a test score. It is much more than a test score. That is important, but how are we educating and making sure that our children are well-rounded and balanced and ready for the workforce? I thank you for this opportunity. Hopefully your day uh, in Durham has been great. Um, and please come back. And uh, again, Tony and Dana, thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you.